happy. That's what we all need to work towards. It's all about us. That was a red tanager, and this is a beautiful brown bird. I don't know the name. There's two of them in there. Look at that. Love how they just go in there. They go all the way in there, they get their seeds, and they go out. I just put some more. Fall has come to South Carolina. It's my backyard. Actually, the tomatoes and the cucumbers are long gone. We actually planted some sweet potatoes and potatoes and onions in that big bed there. The Japanese cedars right behind. One of them changed color, one of them didn't. Who likes oatmeal cookies? Who likes them with raisins and walnuts? Pete Renault here. Hello from South Carolina. What this is, Bill Brady, is the return of Cookie Monster. Who likes oatmeal cookies? The recipe says 375. So we are preheating the oven. Now key to any recipe is a measuring cup and actually directions. This is a Quaker Oats recipe. I did follow the directions. They actually call for three dozen cookies. I'm gonna make a dozen and a half. So what I do, little math, I just cut everything in half. Okay, first one three-quarter cup of flour. A little bit more. And of course, one brown egg. Did you hear that? There we go. What's next? One and a half cups of Quaker oats. They actually wanted three cups, but Again, we're cutting the recipe in half, so one and a half. Uh, three quarter cup of sugar, brown sugar. Added a half cup of uh, butter, unsalted. Next, one teaspoon of vanilla. One teaspoon of baking soda. Next, one quarter teaspoon of salt. Next, one teaspoon of cinnamon. Cinnamon. The only thing left is quarter cup of walnuts and a box of raisins. How many raisins you want to put in there? Here we are making progress with the What stirring. I would normally do is, is I grease the pan sure. with butter. The best thing is butter. It's, it's a natural ingredient. This is so the oatmeal cookies don't stick. We don't want uh, sticking cookies or black cookies on the bottom. We want them nice and brown. Well, here's the dozen and a half. Here's a dozen on this one. I needed another pan, so I put it on there. We put the first one in, and so here is the second one. So we have one and a half dozen cookies. Temperature is 375. And the recipe calls for 10 to 11 minutes. So let's check the time, 11.58. So we're going to check right around 12.09. Okay, it's 12.09. Let's check and see how the cookies are. Okay, time to see the result of our creation. Uh, we're gonna let them cool and put them on the plate. Okay, this is the end result. One and a half. Dozen. Well, that's a lot of cookies for one man. Rest assured, I won't eat more. Carlotta will eat Let's try them out. This looks like a good one right here. Mm -hmm. Audio jungle. Mm. Delicious. 
Pete Renault signing off. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.